Next up, a protocol beats Maker and Compound to become number one in B5 rankings. And I got to tell you, uh, Ave has been on quite the tear. So this is talking about the total value locked or TVL and best decentralized finance are being rocked by Ave. It's a lending protocol that has now taken Maker Dow's mantle as the most popular destination for Ethereum-based assets. And this is one of the reasons why uh, I'm also very bullish on Ethereum because everything's built on it. So um, I've got uh, a good amount of Ethereum, I will just say that, and uh, I can only see it doing very well. But after reading this article, I think I'm going to have to take a look at Ave a little more closely. Anyhow, according to data from DeFi Pulse, Ave or Ave, however you want to say it, holds 1.4 billion in assets as of press time, slightly ed edging out Maker's 1.4 billion. And for the longest time, Maker was uh, the king uh, of the hill. Uh, here we are, already overtaken, but that's how things move in cryptocurrency. Compound, another one that was the darling of cryptocurrency and now has fallen to fifth place, overtaken by Yearn and Curve, or Yearn and Curve. Ave offers a wide range of assets for borrowing and depositing with various stable coins like Tether, True USD, USD Coin, accounting for the majority of its value locked. The protocol's value locked measurement thus appears to be partially dependent on the price of its token. This is the big thing. You have to understand, when they put out these native tokens, it seems like half of it comes from the native token itself, and the other half is kind of like the lending platform when they talk about USDT, USD coin, uh, TUSD. So it's kind of interesting how that all works, but we'll get into that right now. However, liquidity mining incentives, like on Compound or Curve, resulted in the yield farming phenomenon, which inflates TVL in a positive feedback loop with token prices. I got to tell you, I am not a fan of this. Um, I just think it's creating something from nothing, and um, I don't see the value of it at all. I just think it's people chasing people chasing you know, money, and uh, I don't see the value of it. I am a big believer in putting my money into something that can actually create value, not just a, a never-ending loop of money just coming in. I mean, what are you actually doing? I see decentralized finance as uh, the big motivator or the big mover with small businesses like myself, because if I can get uh, loans against my cryptocurrency, fantastic. That means I don't have to sell my cryptocurrency as it actually you know gains in value over the six months, 12 months, two years, five years, or 10 years, or whatever else it is for the loan I'm going to take out. I can leave it in there I can get cash, I can pay for different types of units or any kind of overhead that I have or uh, mortgages or different parts for the land. Uh, I can do a lot of different things with that money and cryptocurrency is gonna sit there. For small businesses, I'm telling you right now, DeFi will be big once the small businesses just figure it out. Um, uh, because if you've ever gone through a bank, uh, hint, hint, banks suck and it's very hard to get a loan. So I am big on DeFi for small businesses and you know for the private loan as well. Anyhow, finishing up here, some researchers have highlighted that the market's overall TVL is prone to double counting. For example, uh, any DAI liquidity on a lending platform like uh, Aave, Aave, how you say it, is a second counting of the original assets supplied as collateral to Maker to mint the stablecoin. Now, all, all these issues have led to uh, some to propose alternative methods of measuring the success of DeFi. The metric still remains the most quoted in the industry, so I don't understand that. But yeah, I mean, look, DeFi is going to be big uh, regardless. Uh, I don't know however you want to count it, if you want to double count or triple count or <laughs> however you want to do it, it's going to be big, but I think it has its place uh, for the right uh, individual and the right businesses. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section of how you see DeFi actually uh, increasing the value uh, going forward over the next 5, 10, 30 years. All right, that's it. But there is one thing I want to do. I want to take a look at the actual website. This is uh, app.ave, A-A-V-E, or ave.com. And when you go here, you can um, you can connect your wallet uh, right away. So if you got a if you got a ledger like I do, you can click on that. But if you're using the, the, the Brave browser, uh, you can set up your uh, Ethereum-based wallet right in the Brave browser, which is pretty cool. So all you got to do is you can't see it, but in the top left-hand corner, if you're using the Brave browser, just click on Brave. And then you'll click on preferences. And then right here on the top, on the top right there, it'll say crypto wallets. And then you put in your password. And there it is. Wham, look at that.
0.15 ETH. I'm loaded. Then I got uh, Celsius, 35.18. And you can do this. Uh, you just set it up right here. And it'll walk through the whole thing. So it's pretty cool. You can just do this and then just you know pay for things uh, as you're using the Brave browser and instead of using your ledger or any kind of hot wallet. So it's right there. But just be aware, I don't keep a lot of money uh, on these wallets. These are kind of like uh, just incidental type of things that I want to do and just test out. So just a little bit, and that's okay. And there's your uh, Ethereum-based wallet. You just copy to clipboard and off you go. That is your public key. So anybody can take a look at that. Anyhow, jumping back, uh, let's, it says star crypto wallets and reload. Let's do that. And there it is, browser wallet. Interesting. And then welcome back. You do this again. And I got a couple here. We'll use the one that actually has money in it. Oops. I right, can select them all. I don't want to. Next. All right. And then connect to, they're connecting and boom, there we are. So here's where we can get in and we can start to play. We can do all these different things with DeFi. Let's see what they got. So they got that, Ethereum, ETHLAN, that, Chainlink, you know, a lot of different things here. This is nice. And then you got the deposit APY, the percentage yield, and then the borrower. So this is what the borrower is going to pay. This is on a 30-day average, 6.24. If they're using true USD, not too bad, 1.9, 2.15. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Uh, this is where it gets a little crazy. Basic attention token, 91%. So again, if you want to do something like that, go right ahead, take a look at uh, uh, Aave or Aave. Me personally, I just use Celsius. Uh, that's my one-two punch. I use uh, Voyager to buy cryptocurrency digital assets, and then I use Celsius to transfer it over there. And then uh, I get interest on all the different uh, cryptocurrencies that I have. And uh, I've actually taken a loan out, and it's very easy. So, I mean, I like to do that. It just makes sense to me. So if you want to take a look at all the different uh, wallets and exchanges that I recommend, there's going to be a link in the description. It's going to look like this. And it goes over it goes over everything from, from Coinbase to Kraken to Gemini to Atomic Wallet to Voyager to Celsius to eToro. Do not recommend them. Crypto.com. Everything you think of are some of the big names out there. I've used them all and I give you recommendations and I give you the uh, fees and the interest and all that stuff. So go ahead and take a look at that.